Hey guys, what's up, man? It's your man Kamari, aka Reno Slow Motion. I know I drop in every once in a blue moon. God, dog, that hurts. What did I do to my wrist? Shit, I just got boo boos everywhere. I got a bigger boo boo on my forehead now. I gotta deal with it. But um, yeah. So uh. Some dude try to try my best friend, roommate, try to try them, and I got a scar from wrestling them down, like it was a dude, man, and, um, she thought he was cool people, so whatever, it's just like, you can't trust motherfuckers these days, you can't trust everybody, you can't let everybody in your home, because you don't never know what their intentions is. Now, me being older, I dang sure know, don't let, you can't let everybody energy into your home because it would taint it, which makes it toxic. It means your home is not the way you left it, somebody else and came into your crib and changed the energy. You ever walk in your place and you just be happy? No reason. You don't even care. It could be no, not sunny outside. It could be the clouds. Then not even be glistening. It's like the sun is not out. When you walk out your door, it's like cold as hell. But when you walk in your crib, it's like warm as shit. It just feels so good. It's so earthy. It's so laid back. You can smile in it. You know why? Because that's your energy. You put positive energy into positive energy and vibes into your place. It will stay in your place. Now, when you invite people in, you need to get to know them. Like, you just don't invite everybody into your place. Because that changes the energy. Like, see, people don't think about that. I do. I might not. I'm just not a pretty face. I do have a lot going on besides just... Kamara's just always smiling. Kamara's just cute. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, there's different things to me. You know, today I'm on a different cleansing, higher thought process. I'm looking to... Hopefully find some woman to make my own. I'm looking for a full-time part, not no part-time, full-time relationship, you know. I learn from all my mistakes, and that's the one thing I can take it. That's the reason why I say I don't let everybody into my aura or into my atmosphere. I don't let everybody into my home. You know, I have to fill you out first. You just can't come walking up into my crib, and I don't know who you is, you know. So apparently... My roommate almost got raped, and um, me being the gentleman I am, I'd rather take a boo-boo than to let my friend almost get raped, you know? And the fact that he stole from me, too. I found out. I had to go check my funds. This nigga stole 100 fucking dollars from me. That's why I said, I'm, I'm, I gotta move. Me and my roommate, we're... we're she gonna be my best friend but the choices and the lifestyle that she is living is not where I am it is somewhere I used to be and I cannot no longer do it so she'll have to walk this journey by herself I'm going to move into a recovering house by myself <laughs> you know and get and still keep doing me and work you know i've just on different things my mind is on a different level most people just don't understand i keep myself out of social media um because i just know that it can really mess up me mentally it just kind of messed it with me a long time ago so there's a lot of things i had to change there's a lot of mistakes i had to um own up to and uh in due time and they apologize for them you know, um, and I just had to get myself together. I had to cipher with myself. Like when my roommate is gone, I'm ciphering by myself. Regardless, I just have to be with me, and I have to be talking talking to my higher power, which is my God, that of understanding. You know, some people got Buddha as their higher power. Some people think their lamp could be their higher power. It's something that you believe in. That's what makes your higher power. You know. Um, somebody that's really close to you could be your high power. So, um, yeah, I'm just on some different things and some different aspects. And, you know, I try not to be in the media that much no more. Uh, if it's not me putting out something positive. Now, I understand. I did get into the world like everybody else on the Remy Ma and the Nicki Minaj. 
you know, I went back, you know, and I had this little setback moment. It was kind of like when I watched it, I mean, I almost choked on my soda. Because I was drinking it, but I was listening. I didn't even know it was a diss record going on with them two. So I had to just, and I just listened to Remy Ma, and I was drinking. I was, I'm about choked on my, just listening. I was like, oh my. So when I had to come back, you know, I came back and I said what I said. But, I mean, it, you know, the social media, you can get hyped. But this, like I said, I didn't say it really has nothing to do with me. I'm a, I respect both artists, but I respect Remy Ma more because she's a vet in this industry. She has been rapping for a long time before Nicki Minaj was even made up or came out, became the semen that made her. She wasn't even in this atmosphere. So, um, hip hop, she ended up growing to know what hip hop was, you know. Compared to Remy Ma, she's been around for years, so everybody knows she already knows street. Then she already know hip hop. Where hip hop came from is from New York. So, you know, it is what it is. Everybody just want a piece of the pie. But I just kind of, um, I just wanted to take some time out. I just ordered my tea. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm just glad about that, too. Um, but yeah, I didn't tell you the battle wound. So, the battle wound I got from trying to rescue my best friend. From this nigga that was going to do her in. Like, I happened to click my key in. And I'm seeing her. Like, no, no, no. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And she's like, in the bathroom. And then he's like, trying to. Boy, I had to. So, you see the boo-boo, the battle wound I got. You see this on my forehead. I am so mad. I am so mad. I'm putting shea butter on it. And it's healing. And now I got to get some, um... So I don't know what to put on it to make. I don't want a big ass scar on my forehead. So this is what I got from trying to be a best friend. A best friend. A loyal best friend. See, that's I'm a ride or die person. When I see my friend is going through something and I walk in and they're going through something or something's happening to them, I'm that person that will be there for them no matter what. No matter what it is. You know, I've done some things that it made me look back like, what the hell? Why did I do that? But then at the end of the day, you know, it's okay. You know, like I'm mad about my money, but, you know, I, what am I do? I can't change it. This nigga was a rapist and a fucking thief. And he tried to almost rape my best friend who was happened to be gay and he didn't like the shit. So, you know, I take a boo-boo for it. It does hurt. It does make me feel self-conscious because I don't like shit on my face. But, you know, that's that's loyalty. I'm a loyal person. And when I really got your back, I really got your back. And when I'm the type of person that I look out for other people besides myself, I'm not selfish anymore. You know, I stand out. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. You know, it's been a hell of a... Hell of a journey. And it's been a hell of a journey constantly keep going. So... Hope everybody's blessed on this beautiful Sunday. I spoke to my heart power, meditated. I left the TV off, and I just, you know, just had a conversation with him, you know. So I wish people could understand and see the difference in me than just assume that I'm just the same old person. Because I'm not. People change. I grew up. I'm growing up every day, and I love who I'm becoming. So, you know. Hopefully one day that person will see it. Hopefully everybody else sees it. I don't know if you can. I think my facial hair is trying to come back in. It is. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Um, so I'm taking vitamins and stuff. So, you know, trying to keep my body right. So, uh, I got a couple of hit roll videos. That, uh, if you need requests for hit roll videos, let me know. All right. Peace.